Hi friends, I'm going to tell you that how to perform the product time examination. Definitely I'm not going to show you the procedure because I have shown you the procedure earlier. I want to discuss on what are the points that you must cover while performing the product time examination. First of all, you should not avoid examining the external genetics, especially the meters and the testes and the urethrometers. Now come to the back. See is there any skin tags over the vent over there? Now, while moving inside in the thing, you when you are inserting the finger inside, you must feel the tone of the spin stroke. Normally, one finger to two fingers when passes easily is normal tone. If you can pass the three finger, that means tone has been reduced. Now, you can see if the patient is complaining of the pain while passing the finger, that means fissures are present over there. Now, within the lumen, within the lumen, you see for any fecal matter is there, is there any ballooning of the rectum which is usually seen in the intestinal obstruction you can palpate for the mass now inside the wall in the wall of the rectum you feel just inside opening of anus a circular group can be felt which usually lies between the external and internal dispenser which is and further up you can feel anal rectal pain you can also palpate piles but only those piles are palpable where which are chronic inflamed as well as thrombosed. You can feel a dimple which is usually a fistula and anode. You can also palpate some of the malignancy of the growth easily that is not very difficult to palpate. Now in outside the wall, outside the wall the structures are different in both male and female. In, in, in while discussing about the male, it lies prostate gland, some anal vesicles, the base of the bladder, recto vesicle pouch. In the female, lies on the surface vagina recto uterine pouch now while palpating for the prostate you must see the size of the prostate and you should give the grade grade one two three four these are the grades you must see that now after seeing that uh, you see the consistency normal prostate is uh, have a rubbery consistency and those people who drink and having the bps their prostate gets congested and that time the feeling is of that of mushy feeling you can have a indurated in the case of chronic infection and definitely if you feel the prostate something like very stony hard that means it's suspected about carcinoma you can have uh, you must palpate for the surface and uh, it can be very smooth surface and irregular surface you can palpate the median group and the lateral sulcus it's easy to palpate and you must must check the mobility of rectal mucosa over the prostate now coming to the laterally laterally lies ischio rectal fossa lateral wall of the pelvis lower end of the ureter um, sorry ureter and the internal ileal cavities an important thing that you can palpate the stone when present the lower end of the ureter you can feel the uh, pelvic bone now after removing the finger you must check your finger whether it contains the fecal matter pus mucus or uh, blood a important point that i want to discuss you can have an idea of about the pain patient is having over in the ureter pain the type of the ureter pain uh, about the due to the stone if the stone is lost in upper ureter the pain radiates to the testicles this will be the presentation of the patient if the stone is in the middle of the ureter pain is referred to the McBurney's point and you may get confused that of uh, that uh, um, appendicitis if the patient if the stone is in the blood definitely you will have the vesicle irritability will be there thank you for giving your valuable four minutes thanks